dead bark only for about 24 hours. It's a very brief trip, but I thought I'd make the best of it and film the ever awaited for Robin Coopers part two. Don't correct my pronunciation. <laughs> I'm gonna brutalize all of it. So I went out to my local Lidl to try to find some of the stuff that you guys recommended the last week or the week before last week and um, as well as some bakeries and I tried to find as much as I could but uh, some stuff eluded me but I think I have a pretty good selection so let's get into this. One of these things is not like the others so maybe I'm going to start off with that. Okay so this was recommended to me liver pate or something. I'm not gonna try to pronounce this. Um, they had a few varieties uh, but I thought bacon was the safest bet. You're supposed to eat it on stuff. I get that but I don't have um, things to me. This looks really gross. died in a tin. What are you doing to me? Oh. Okay, we're not gonna finish this. Um, I have nothing to eat with. I have a stir stick that I used for hot chocolate last night. So, let's... Cheers. Okay. I'll give it to you. It's not that bad. It looks... I pretty much just like taste like meat. <laughs> I think it could grow on me, maybe, like a little bit. I mean, uh, we're gonna go on to something else now. Next, I have this co 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 chocolate milk. 100% smog! Wow. I think that's a good thing. Thanks for the people that recommended this. Thank you. Um, let's, let's, I'll have a little taste. Okay. Mm, that's good. I mean, it's just like chocolate milk, but good. Chocolate milk. Yeah, it's good. I like it. But I'm gonna drink it all day. Woo, thumbs up. Okay, right, next, I, I got some pastry things. So, um, I know it's Fest, fest love, fest love, fest love, mm -hmm. soon. The sort of Mardi Gras type thing where you be a cat out of a box, is that right? Or a barrel? Something like that. And they had these, and I saw them last time I was here, and I didn't get one in time. So I was uh, interested. It kind of got a little smushed the journey back home. It's good. Pastry was the thing in the middle. Just have the thing in it. I think it has something in the middle. That's really good. That's what it looks like on the inside. Woo woo woo. This is great. We don't have special pastries for Mardi Gras. I think we should institute that. I like any holiday that has its own a pastry. So ten points to hold this one. Next I have the highly recommended My pronunciation hasn't gotten any better. <laughs> I liked this one because I thought it looked a little bit like a ghost. Okay. That's different. I don't know, I am not expect that. You guys went on this one. This is really good. <laughs> so it's like a marshmallowy type thing. And chocolate and coconut. And there's a wafer thing on the bottom of it. This is really good. This is good. How have I never eaten this before? No one ever recommended it to me when I was here. On exchange. This is so good. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Next, we have Fex a good day. Whee! Quick story. <laughs> I love this. So did my friends when we were here. And we made a song for it. <laughs> That's how much we loved it. 
I'm not gonna sing the song, but um, happy memories with this. Mm, it tastes pretty much like Sprite or 7-Up, but that added hint of nostalgia that makes it so special. Yes. 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 Thanks for the person that recommended this. And yeah, it's really good and I love it so much. Okay, moving on. Last but not least, the pastry that started it all. <laughs> the Ramp Googler. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. The Ramp Googler. Ramp Googler. This is the thing. This is the thing. If you haven't seen the video I made, I think it was about this time last year, um, I had one of these and it tasted disgusting. I got it from Fotex. And if that gives you any context, if you live in Denmark. And uh, they were really, really gross. So, tons of people in the comments said, no, you have to try one from a bakery. Well, here it is. So, hopefully, you guys are right, and it tastes a lot better from a bakery. Uh, I have my reservations. So here we go. Tastes a bit like nail polish remover, less so though than last time. A little less sweet, but <laughs> still not good. I'm sorry for the people that recommended me eat this again. It just tastes like nail polish remover. A little bit of chocolate. <laughs> sort of anticlimactic. <laughs> I was expecting it would be actually the best thing ever. Um, sadly. It was not. I'd say about 60% of it was really good, the other 30. Mm, not so much. <laughs> For all the people that said that the one from the bakery would taste so much better, I am sorry. It just it was, it was gross. Again. You failed me! This thing, again, the people that recommended this. Props to you, this was so good. So yeah, that's me eating Danish things, a different perspective from last time. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. <laughs> so, if you haven't seen the first video of this, where I'm eating stuff from the grocery store that I thought was weird while I was living here in Denmark for five months, you should maybe go watch that. Um, yeah, I filmed it this time last year, and I'm really cool. um, and now I'm visiting, and this thing was really great, so yeah, you should, you should go watch, you should go watch that video, or subscribe to my channel, that's a, that's a good option too, this is really, really great, I love this, this is everything to me.